children everywhere have been consumed by the new consumable breakfast food called oatmeal. It has completely innovated the morning food industry and has taken the world by storm. Is this the work of marketing genius or a criminal mastermind? Only time will tell. Can you believe it's been over a hundred years since oatmeal changed the way that Americans start their day? You just watched an original newscast from 1901, just days after the release of Quaker Oats, and what would be later known as the Breakfast Revolution. In remembrance and celebration of this momentous occasion, that is National Oatmeal Month. Man, what a lame holiday. Today we're going to be cooking a special recipe that I found right on the back of the box. Today we're going to be cooking a special family recipe that's been passed down from generations. Let's get cooking. I just don't like oatmeal. It gives me gas. Look, it's in your contract and you can't do a thing about it. We're live. Welcome back everybody. Today we're starting off with a classic. Minute oats and 2% milk. I really don't have to go into detail what it tastes like, but I will anyway. It tastes like crap. Welcome back, folks. Today, we're creating a vintage dish that originated on the British Isles in the year 420 BC. Only a 2,400-year-old peasant would want to eat this. We have Captain Crunch now. Why is it still a viable breakfast food? The first step in crafting this ancient delicacy is the oats, of course. Be careful not to add too much, though. Because once this pile of pigeon droppings gets in the microwave, it's going to rise like a phoenix from the ashes. You also need to add a healthy portion of cow squeezins. Well, guess what? I'm allergic to milk. It'll give me the squirts till Valentine's Day. Set your personal nuclear reactor to one minute on the Geiger counter and wait for the magic to happen. Now that it's finished, make sure to wear your lead-lined gloves when handling. Believe me, radiation burns are no laughing matter. Mmm, don't that look good? Mom would be proud. Like a boss. Now the last step in making this alien cow pie edible will be sugar. Now just a little sprinkling won't cut it. You're gonna have to baptize this sucker. <laughs> Granted, you'll probably be diabetic by the time you reach high school, but at least you didn't miss the most important meal of the day. A buzzard wouldn't eat this. What do you want me to do now? 